A juvenile suspect is in custody in the homicide investigation of 10-year-old Lily Peters. Chippewa Falls Police Chief Matthew Kelm says the arrest was made in Chippewa Falls earlier this evening. Kelm says the suspect was not a stranger to Peters and was known to her, adding he is in custody and the public is no longer in danger. Due to the suspect being a juvenile, no additional details were given about his identity. Police executed a search warrant at 422 North Grove Street near where Peter's body was found. Kelm says over 200 tips were provided to the police department, which the chief adds were critical to the investigation. The Chippewa Falls community is still trying to process what happened to Peter's. First is at 9's Leanne Stapleton has details on how people around the community have come together to mourn the loss of one of their own. The tragic death of Ileana Lily Peters rocked the Chippewa Falls community. I honestly don't believe that there isn't anybody in the city, and probably the whole Chippewa Valley, that hasn't been impacted by this. Mayor Greg Hoffman says people in his community are hurting and emotions are running high. I mean, this is unbelievable that a 10-year-old girl would be killed. And it just doesn't happen in Chippewa Falls. And it doesn't happen in the Chippewa Valley. Lily was last seen riding her bike Sunday night. Eric Henry says his eight-year-old daughter's birthday is coming up and she originally asked for a bike but changed her mind. I held my daughter, I told her I love her, and we were kind of trying to lighten the mood and I asked her, are you still excited to go look at bikes with dad? And she pouted and she said, dad, I don't want a bike anymore. I'm scared. Several people asked why an Amber Alert wasn't issued when Lily was reported missing. Law enforcement say Lily's disappearance didn't meet the criteria. So Henry started a petition that already has more than 17,000 signatures to create a Lily Alert in hopes of having communities searching sooner in cases like this. We have cell phone towers. We're in the nation of Big Brother. There's got to be a way that we can send based on a radius, a text message to, to the community and let them know Please be on the lookout. My daughter's missing. She was wearing this. She was last seen on her bike, headed to grandma's around this neighborhood. Because ultimately, people wanted to help. Carl Smiskey owns the Chippewa store. They are giving out stickers and buttons for a donation to Lily's family. Horrible what happened here. Um, I've got uh, two daughters, and my one daughter, she went to Parkview, you know, just up the hill. and. Uh, I went over the bridge today past Line of Kugels and I, I broke down because I, I can't believe that happened here in Chippewa Falls. Smiskey says the stickers were made and given to him by Rocky Kempe of Chippewa Falls and it inspired him to create justice for Lily Buttons. Well, I'm not a cop. I can't do anything, but this is, this is my gift and talent and this is what I can do. And when I see other business owners doing the same thing, that just tells me I'm in the right community. In Chippewa Falls, Leanne Stapleton, First News at 9. Smitsky says he is working on making more justice for Lily Buttons to help her family.